Sometimes you purchase high-speed Ethernet adapters only to discover that they don't work at their full advertised speeds. The reason may vary between chip and driver support, but quite frankly we don't care. The main point is that these should work. So in this video I purchased and tested a list of adapters and we're sharing the adapters that worked at their full advertised 2.5 gigabits per second speeds with the M1 Max MacBook Pro. I purchased just the Anchor and realized even though it's a brand name, it didn't work. So I got the idea for this video and purchased three more and the final list of adapters and brands I tested were Anchor, Cable Matters, Cable Matters USB-C, and Ugreen. I have my MacBook Pro wired to an Ethernet port in the wall which I installed myself. I wired this also myself, directly over a cable I know that can support 2.5 gigabits to a new Eero PoE switch. I made my Eero set up much faster using this PoE and reworking how my network is laid out, but that's a video for another day. Onwards to results. Here are the results. I would have expected a brand name like Anchor to have worked at the full speed. I like the Cable Matters brand name, since we reviewed their other cables before with good results. Surprisingly, even though the USB-C version worked, the USB 3.0 version did not. I did not know what to expect from Ugreen, but was pleasantly surprised. I added additional ports to my M1 Max MacBook Pro by plugging in a CalDigit TS4 Thunderbolt hub. It has three Thunderbolt 4 ports and four full-speed older style USB ports. You can find a link to that in the description. In today's video, we purchased and tested a list of 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet adapters to see which worked at their full advertised speeds with the M1 Max MacBook Pro over a connection we know is good. Thanks for watching.